Uh, let's uh, talk about some statements about inverse of uh, matrices. If A and B are two n by n matrices, so we're talking about square matrices, uh, such that uh, B times A is equal to I, and then we can also say these things also. We can say that B is inverse of A. We can say A is inverse of B. That A and B are invertible. That means that they can be inverted or you can find the inverse. And also we can say A times B is equal to I. So although we are able to say hey, B times A is equal to I, then uh, B is the inverse of A or A is the inverse of B, but it also means that A times B will be equal to the identity matrix. We can also say that A and B are non-singular. And then uh, we can also say that all uh, columns of A and B are linearly independent. So if we treat each, uh, each of the columns of A or B as vectors, they will be linearly independent. And so is, the true, so is it true for rows. So all rows of A and B are linearly independent. So these are some things to think about when you are talking about inverse of a matrix. To be able to say that, hey, uh, B times A is anti matrix, then B is inverse of A, A is inverse of B, a and B are invertible. A times B will be the anti matrix. A and B both are considered to be non singular. That the columns of A and B are linearly independent, so are the rows of A and B which are linearly independent. And that is the end of this segment.